This has now become a familiar sight and sound over parts of northern Myanmar. On Monday, the Kachin Independence Army said these Myanmar government fighter jets again attacked one of its positions. The rebels have been firing back at the jets and helicopters with guns and mortars. But their aging and sometimes homemade equipment seems no match for the air power of the Myanmar military. At around three in the afternoon, government fighter jets attacked a site near our base. Three jets came very close to here. In fact, according to the Kachin Independence Army, the attack took place only 10 kilometers from the town of Liza, which is where the rebels are based. It's also come under artillery fire, and some locals fear the Myanmar army will try to take the town. The fighter jets came twice near Liza. I have two children, and we're so afraid the jets will attack again. The Kachin army said the air offensive started late last month. The government initially denied the use of airstrikes, but later admitted they had taken place, but only in self-defense. That raised questions about how much control the partly civilian administration has over its military, which ran the country up until two years ago. A 17-year ceasefire broke down in June 2011, and since then there have been regular battles, mainly consisting of close-quarter fighting, with soldiers shooting across valleys. But the use of air power is a new development in a long battle for outright control of a resource-rich state. Several rounds of peace talks have been held between the rebels and the government, which have produced nothing. Now a result seems further away than ever. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.